Hi, how are you? Glad to see you again. Can you hear me? I'm ready, teacher. Okay. Uh, what about, how, how is the weather there? Hello. Hello, teacher. How is the weather? Hello, teacher. How is the weather in your area? Here is raining. Okay. Right here is uh, really cool, you know, because of the raining. Okay, welcome back. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Uh, la verdad está un tanto helado por acá. Acaba de terminar de llover. I don't think that I'm sick and that reason I'm feeling really cool, you know? No quiero pensar que, que estoy enfermo y que por eso siento frío. Generalmente no... No padezco de ese frío, así es que. Ok, I'm ready to start. Let me adjust something here. Okay, welcome back. I'm ready. Let me see how many people only we got only nine. Okay, let me tell you that I've been checking your activities and most of you got good grades. For that reason, you need to celebrate because you are doing pretty well. Felicitarles, he estado actualizando eh, las notas de la primera semana. La mayoría de ustedes tiene excelentes notas y eso refleja el esfuerzo que todos y cada uno de ustedes han hecho. Así es que I invite you to continue doing in the same pause, the same way. Because uh, that is the purpose. Ese es el propósito. Continue doing well and learning new vocabulary and learning new expression and so on. And that is the reason why we are here. Every day from Monday to Friday, two hours, just doing our best in order that all of you can participate, can read, can speak, can interact, and so on. Okay? Veo bien pocos, ya pasaron seis minutos. ¿Será que algunos me salieron futbolistas? <laughs> Y por eso es que no están conmigo. ¿Será eso? Probable. No, pues, vamos a, 
vamos a tener que ver diferido. Pero la asistencia es importante. Correcto. Yes. Ok, bueno, ellos se lo van a perder. Nosotros seguimos adelante. Perdóneme si fallé. Okay, let me check out the attendance first. Okay, uh, Ana del Carmen is there? No? Ana? It's not here? Angel Narciso? Present teacher. Okay, welcome, sir. Cristina Stephanie? Present. Thank you. Uh, Giovanni Alexander? Present. Harrison Manuel. Present. Jose Miguel. Not here. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Okay, Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Karina? Present. Okay. Linda Ivette? Linda? Uh, Maria Idalia? Maria, it's not here. Okay, uh, Maria Julia. Present. Welcome. Marlene. Present. Uh, Marvin Omar. Here, okay. Uh, Nancy, Yvette. Nancy. Nancy. No, okay. Uh, Norma? Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Uh, Rafael Ernesto? I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Raquel Judith? Raquel? Reinaldo Castro? Reinaldo, Suleima, Suleima, Xiomara del Carmen, Ok, 
Ana Cristina. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Good evening, teacher. Present. What's your name? Sorry. Ana del Carmen. Let me check up your name here. Okay. Number one. Number one, excellent. I got it here. Creí que estaba viendo la selecta. Pero no, me equivoqué. Ya no habían entrado. <laughs> ok, 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 ok. Ok, excelente. Luego le damos oportunidad a los demás. Eh, pero por honor al tiempo y a los puntuales, we are going to start right now. Remember that today we are, we are uh, starting a new week. Estamos iniciando semana. Ok. Así que lo quiero con las pilas puestas y los ánimos. In order that we continue doing something really good with you, ok? Ok, uh, let me see. Here we go. Ok, this is uh, the video conference number six. We are going to talk about how to use the uh, there is and there are. This is the class, class number six. And before to start talking about this new topic, it's mandatory that we make a review about the last week topics. It's missing a mess right here. Okay. And I have it here. What can you tell me about it? It's just a simple review that we need to do. Necesitamos hacer como un repaso simple sobre los temas de la semana que acaba de cerrar para eh, hacer una conexión entre los nuevos temas. We need to make a connection with the new topic. But at the same time, we need to remember what we have started in the in the previous day. What can you tell me about the first? Hello. Take a look at the picture that I got here. You need to think of. Necesita pensar, 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 ¿ok? Who wants to tell me something about the first topic? Or maybe if you don't want to start in order, you can tell me something about the number four, the number three, number two. It's up to you. But tell me. Word in the in the step progress the first the second the 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 later after okay what else Okay, so Maria, please. Alguien más? We have four, four topics, right? Okay, just yes, tell me about, about number two, number three, number four, whatever, you know. But just tell me, please. And let us do the review now, in, before to start a new topic. I know that you know. Yo sé que ustedes tienen las ideas ahí, but you don't want to talk. 
And that is the problem. You need to talk. Okay, tell me. Para que podamos pasar al, al nuevo tema, porque si no, no podemos. Teacher, for example, in class, first you take assistance, second, the develop, development of the topic, third, uh, exercise are carried out, and finally, assistance is taken again. Okay, thank you. Very well. Nice. Okay, somebody else, please? What about the second one? What can you tell me about it? What do you remember about it? ¿Qué recuerda del segundo tema? Tell me, please. Anybody wants to tell me anything about it? I don't want to name to, I don't want to do it democraticamente, no. no. Mm -hmm. I need that you do it uh, by yourself. Okay, I'm waiting. Recuerden que solo es un repaso, no es una evaluación, no, no, no teman que no estamos evaluando. Estamos haciendo un repaso. Solo para saber qué tan claro les han quedado los temas. El día de ayer, yesterday, we were talking about dos topics, right? Estuvimos hablando de esos temas ayer. Y hoy hacemos para iniciar la semana, we are starting talking about dos topics again. Ok, you already talked about number one. What about the, the second one? Please tell me, what do you remember? I remember teacher the use of should. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, it's, a, it's a suggestion, uh, for example, uh, you should run uh, 45 kilometers every weekend. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Okay. Somebody else, somebody else, please, about another topic. Karina, I know that you want to tell me something. Okay, just do it now, please. About the word clauses, and we can use the word clauses as a subject. For example, what she wrote is interesting and as an object. For example, I read what she wrote. And the structure of the web clauses is uh, WH word plus personal pronoun plus verb. Okay, excellent. I like that. Okay, somebody else? What else? What else? The other topic is uh, how to use imperatives. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. About imperatives is uh, to give an, an order or, or an instruction. Okay, excellent. An example? Somebody wants to give um, me an example about it? Read a book. Read instructions, okay. What else? What else? Oh, 
open the door, close the window, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Okay, remember that uh, if you participate and that way you are going to be sure that you are learning, learning something new, okay? Yo sé que todos, todos, todos tienen el conocimiento, pero todavía sienten como temor de poder decir algo. Y recuerden que estamos en un proceso, ¿sí? Estamos en un proceso, entonces tranquilos, pero necesito que practiquemos, que hablemos de los temas. Ok, thank you very much. Ok, let us start with the new topic. Okay, you already talk about a step in progress, about what flows, uh, how to use imperative, and how to use should. Remember that in the third one, uh, we are going to use different words like uh, first, second, third, then finally, etc., etc. You are going to use all those words in order to describe a process, right? In the second one, when we talk about what closes, we already started that is not a question. What we are going to do is just to switch as a subject or object, what we are going to say. What I am thinking is that you need to practice more and so on, okay. And then we talk about imperative. For example, if, we, if you are using a book, I say, okay, open your books, on page 15, and you are going to find out exercise number four, and you have to do this, and so on, okay? That is imperative. Or if you are in your office, and suddenly the phone is ringing, and you say, okay, answer the phone, please. Bring it up, please, and so on, okay? And... The number four, when we talk about true, we use it to give advice. Uh, for instance, if somebody feels sick, uh, you are going to use should to give an advice. Imagine in my, in my case, if I, have a, a, if I feel that I have a, a headache and you are going to tell me maybe you should take a painkiller for example, okay? Okay, based on that, uh, we are going to start with a new topic. Let's go now, please, cause the time. Okay, and we are going to start with the conversation. We have a conversation between Tam and Orson, okay? I invite you to read with me, and then we are going to practice with somebody else. Answer this way. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Orson. I work for Hutch. Oh, I know the company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, we are growing. So there are now many branches in the country yet. There are few. What company do you work for? I work for Eco, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one of the store the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana this day. Okay, hold on. I need to move something. Okay. There isn't one yet. Okay, remember that at the moment that you are going to read, you need to pay a special attention to all those uh, question mark, exclamation mark, uh, periods, commas, etc., etc., etc. It is called punctuation, okay? And uh, as I told you, the first day that we start uh, 
starting this module, you need to speak naturally. And remember that when we talk another language, uh, in this case, like English, we need to switch our voice in order to adapt to the sound. Okay, I'm going to read it again. And later on, if you have any question, I'm here to help you. My name is Tam, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, I'm Horizon. I work for Hodge. Oh, I know the company. There is an office in the Salvador downtown. Yes, we are growing. So there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. What company do you work for? Remember there is a question. What company do you work for? I work for Eco, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one of those stores, one of the stores the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana this day. There isn't one yet. Okay, question? Question, if you have a question, just let me know. No teacher. What no, does a uh, launching mean? Ah, we are planning on launching one in Santa Ana this day. Oh, okay, I'm going to explain this in Spanish. Veamos la última expresión, dice, there isn't one yet. No hay una todavía. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que se quiere hacer? Veamos en el contexto. Aperturar. Aperturar una. Excelente. Buena, buen sinónimo, ¿sí? Launching one. Abrir, aperturar. Ok. ¿Another question? No. Okay. Okay. Growing. Let me see what is it. Growing. Crecer. Excuse Creciendo. me. Ah, growing. Growing. Yes. Ah, it's right here. Growing. Growing. Yeah, grow. Okay. Uh, I remember that I sent you a table of irregular verbs. Recuerdo que les mandé una tablita de verbos. Por ahí está ese verbo al final. Al final de, de la tablita, por ahí se los dejé. Growing up. See? This case growing. Ok. Santinel. No? Ok. Uh, I need, let me see, three volunteers who wants to read it first. Before to go to the breakout room and practice, I need that uh, three people read it for me. And that way you are going to get familiar with some words. Okay? Okay, go ahead. And who else? Mm, no, I, what okay. I need is- All the conversation. Yes, what I need is that you read it. The, okay. whole, the, the whole conversation. Later on, you are going to practice with somebody else. But it's going okay. to be in the breakout room. Okay. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Orson. I work for Hot. Oh, I know the company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, we are growing. So there are not many branches in the country yet. There are a few. What company do you work for? I work for Eco, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one of the stores the, the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana this day. There isn't one yet. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, somebody else? Me, teacher. Okay, do it, do it. My name is Tom, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Orson, I work for Hodge. Oh, I know that, that company. 
There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, we're growing, so there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. What company do you work for? I work for Eco, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one of the store the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana these days. There isn't one yet. Okay, thank you. Excellent. And the last one, please. Me, teacher. Okay, do it. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I also, I work for Outer. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador town. Yes, we're growing. So there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. What company did you work for? I, I work for Eco, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one on the stores the other day. Yeah, there are seats in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana. These days, there is one jet. Okay, excellent. Okay, let us now go to the breakout room and you are going to practice. Let me see. People that we have. 14. Okay, uh, some of your classmates say that they have problems because in some areas it's raining. And yes, it's and, raining. Yeah, and, 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 and other had another issues. Okay. Se es comprensible porque como ya dije hace rato, aquí acaba de terminar la lluvia y ha quedado muy helado, ¿sí? Entonces es posible que la lluvia está quizás en todo el país. Por eso es que tenemos quizás la asistencia que tenemos. Y eh, otros compañeros de ustedes que han tenido algunos eh, problemas que esperemos resuelvan pronto. Ok. okay let's go to the breakout room and you are going to practice. We are going to create seven, okay? Okay, I got it. Cristina is with Norma. Harrison is with Marlene. Ana Cristina is with Julia. Ana del Carmen is with uh, Maria. Giovanni is with Rafael. And let me see the rest. Karina is with Linda and Angel is with uh, Juan Carlos Palacios. Okay, let me see how many minutes do you need? Two minutes, it is enough, no? Two minutes, three minutes? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay, okay, let us do it now, please. Here we go, here we go. Practice, 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 practice. <clears throat> Ana Cristina, Ana Cristina, somebody is waiting for you. Okay, right now they have the opportunity to practice the conversation. This is really, really important because it's a control practice where they have the opportunity to pronounce each word in the conversation and they help each other too. Later on, they are going to do it uh, in front of the class. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, welcome back. Let us do it now, please. Ana Cristina ya tiene la mano arriba. I like that. Okay. You are going to be the first one with your couple. Oh, let me see. Norma. Norma Carolina. The one. Norma, are you going to start? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. My name is. Uh, my name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Orson. I work for Object. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yeah, we will work in. So there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. What company do you work for? I work for Eco, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one on the store the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santana, in Santana. There, this day. There isn't one yet. Okay, excellent. You did a, a great, a great job. Okay. Somebody else is volunteer. Remember, volunteer. Okay. Teacher with Ana del Carmen. Maria Idalia and Ana del. Okay. Okay. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Permítame que voy a verla ahorita. Okay. okay. Nice to meet you too. I also I work for Object. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, we're growing, so there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. What company do you work for? I work for Eco, the, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one of the store the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana these days. There isn't one yet. Okay, awesome. Excellent. Somebody else, please. Somebody else, somebody else. 
Me teacher. Ok, let me see, Rafael o Juan Carlos. Eh, Giovanni y al azar, quién sabe ah. que 10. <risa> <risa> ok, go ahead, go ahead. Do it, do it now, do it now. <risa> Giovanni. Ok. Ok, eh, my name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And also, I work for the Hutch. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador, downtown. Yes, we're growing, so there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. What company do you work for? I work for Eco, the fancy company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one of the stores the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning our launching one of the Santa Ana this day. There is a one jet. Okay, excellent. Okay, do it, do it, do it, do it now, do it now, please. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. you. Nice to meet you too. I am also, I work to coach. Oh, I know that company, there is an office in San Salvador, Dautan. Yes, we're growing, so there are not many brochures in the country yet. There are few. What company do you work for? I work for ECO, the fighting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one the, of the store the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launches one in Santa Ana this day. There isn't one yet. Okay, excellent. Me, teacher. Okay, Marlon. Okay, my name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Arson. I work for Hodge. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, we are growing. So there are not many branches in the country yet. There are a few. What company do you work for? I work for Eco, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one of the stores uh, the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We're planning on launching one in Santa Ana these days. There isn't one yet. Okay, excellent. Do we have another couple or not? Just tell me. Excuse me? Do you want to do it? Ana Cristina? Okay. Hello. Yeah, it's there. Julia is there. Yes, uh, Ana Cristina. Oh, ¿cómo son? My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm um, Orson. I work for Object. Not that company. There is office in San Salvador, in San Salvador, out there. Yes, we are growing. So there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. What company do you work for? I work for Eco, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visit 
one of the stores the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana these days. There isn't one yet. Okay, thank you. Okay, that's it. For well, somebody who want to do it, just let me know if you want to participate. Okay, let us continue. If you don't want to do it, okay. No problem at all. Okay, we have uh, the exercise number three. Figure it out, fill in the blank to complete the following sentences. Uh, based on the conversation, uh, we need to answer this statement. What about number one? There are three offices in San Salvador. There are. There are. There are. Okay. There are. What about the second one? There are one store in Soyapango. There is. There is. Uh -huh, okay. Uh, what about number three? There are not any office in this region yet. There are not there any are are There are. There are. There are. There are not any offices. There are not any offices. Okay. I like that. Excellent. Um, I need that somebody of you explain me. Que alguien de uh, ustedes me explique por qué usaron eh, cada uno de las palabras que pusimos acá. Para que alguno de los compañeros tiene dudas, pueda clarificar sus ideas. ¿Cuál fue eh, como la guía que usaron para elegir esa palabra? The plural, the singular, y negativo. Ah, okay, okay. In this, talking about the number one, what is the key word? ¿Cuál es la palabra clave ahí para poder elegir la que eligiera? Three offices. Three. Ajá, okay. It's on plural. Okay, okay. Entonces estamos hablando de que esto nos dice que es plural, right? Okay, what about the second one? One is store. It is... Singular, right? Singular. For the Understood. reason you use the word there is. is. Okay. And the last one? What is the key there, word here? There are. Okay. Because it's a piece. What, what, what is the, the key word? There are not any office. Uh, office. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. You Plural. need to be you need to be careful Plural. about the it's word that, that you are using, right? Okay. Les hice esta pregunta porque es posible que más de alguno de sus compañeros todavía esté confundido y dice por qué eligieron eso. Sí. Entonces, the key word is this, this. And this, right? Okay. Excellent. That means that you already have some ideas, some knowledge about how to use there is and there are. Okay. Let me see the time. Mm -hmm. We are doing well on time. Let me see what else do we have here. Okay, number four, what we have is uh, how to use there is and there are. I need a volunteer who wants to read it, but I have. 
the chart. Me. Okay, do it. Uh, on the instruction. Uh, use there is and there are to state that something exits. We use there is for singular noun and there are for plural nouns. Add not after B to create the negative form. Okay, excellent. Use there is and there are to to state that something exists. We use there is for singular nouns and there are for plural nouns. Add not after B to create the negative form. Do you know that what is the meaning of the word at, right? Ya todos saben cuál es eh, el significado de la palabra at, ¿cierto? Agregir. Sí. Puede ser un sinónimo, agregue. Legal. Ok. Excelente. And we have some example here. There is one office in San Salvador. There is not a store in the city. I, if something is missing there. These are uh, singular. And at the right side, we have there are three distribution center in Ilopango. There are not many places to have a meet. Okay. In another words, in otras palabras, what is the meaning of these two words? I need that you tell me. What is the meaning of these two words? In Spanish, please. Tell me. Hay una oficina en San Salvador. Sí. Ok, ya lo dijo el compañero. Para quienes todavía tienen dudas, ambas expresiones, there is y there are, significan hay de existencia, de haber. La diferencia es, in the first one, when we use is, we are talking about uh, plural now. Estamos hablando de, uh, uh, sorry, uh, singular. We are talking about singular. And right here, when we say there are, we are talking about plural. But the meaning, it is the same. El, el, el significado, eh, al traducirlo, es el mismo. Hay, pero no hay, no hay de dolor, sino de existencia. Okay? Teacher. Tell me. En los ejercicios de, de, el, de la plataforma, el tercero eh, trata sobre, sobre there, there are, eh, eh, que habla de Ilopango, pero es exactamente el del libro, pero me, lo, me, me da error. Really? Yo lo pongo exactamente igual y me da error. Mm. I'm going to check up. I'm going to check up to be sure. And they said there are three distribution centers in Lopango. There are three centers of distribution in yeah, Lopango. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about the capital letter? Do you take it into account? ¿Ha, ha considerado eh, la inicial mayúscula, el punto final? Yes, yes, it. Okay. I'm going to check up to be sure. And I promise you to, to solve your doubt. Lo voy a revisar y de esa manera le puedo eh, orientar qué es lo que está sucediendo ahí. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Because sometimes uh, it is just a period. Algunas veces es por un punto que no nos funciona lo que estamos escribiendo o a veces por la letra inicial mayúscula. Pero en este caso, si usted dice de que ya eh, 
tomó en consideración ambas cosas, entonces significa de que eh, se refiere no a eso, sino a otra cosa. Eso es lo que sucede. Ok, let us see some examples. We are going to study some examples. Even though the, some of you already got the, the main idea about this topic, aun y cuando algunos ya eh, tienen muy claro el tema, pero es posible que algo otros compañeros no. For that reason, I'm going to give you an extra explanation about this. Es por eso que les voy a dar una explicación extra sobre este tema. Okay, I need that you take a look at all the pictures that I have here. We are talking about our new house. And listen what the man is saying. Honey, I found the perfect house. You are going to love it. You know? Oh, that's great. Tell me all about it. Okay, I need that. Maybe you are going to help me read it, please. The volunteer who wants to read it. There is a big, there is a big backyard. Okay. There's, there's air conditioning. There's air condition, okay. There are good schools nearby. 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 Nearby, nearby okay. Okay. Uh, remember that when we talk about present singular, use there is or there's state facts about a person or thing. ¿Se comprende la instrucción? Yes. This, this, it is the same. When we talk about facts, a person or sins. Okay. Somebody else? Want to read it, please? There is a big backyard. There is a big backyard. Okay. Excellent. Okay, I'm, I, I do really sorry to interrupt and stop, but I need to check out the attendance. Déjenme primero checar la asistencia para que luego continuemos, porque si no, no va a pasar mucho tiempo. Y después van a decir, no, no nos pasó lista, se le olvidó. Tengo algunos que uh, entraron después de que ya la había pasado, entonces no los he chequeado. Y eso es sumamente importante tenerlos ahí en lista. Ok, here we go. Ok, Gareth, Ana del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you, An Angel. Present teacher. Thank you, Cristina. Present. Thank you, Giovanni. Present. Thank you, Harrison. Present. Thank you, Jose Miguel. Jose Miguel. Juan Carlos. Present. Thank you. Eh, Karina. Present. Thank you. Linda. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Maria Idalia. Present, teacher. Thank you. Maria Julia. Present. Thank you. Marlen. Present. Thank you. Marvin, Nancy, 
Present teacher. Welcome. Norma. Present teacher. Welcome. Rafael. Present teacher. Thank you. Raquel Judith. Raquel Judith. It's not here, okay. Reinaldo. Reinaldo. Suleiman. Suleiman. Xiomara del Carmen. Xiomara del Carmen. And Ana Cristina Chavarria. Yes, I Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> Thank you, thank you to all of you. Okay, let us continue. Let me see where we are. Here we go. No, 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 right here. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, we were talking about there is or there's. There's a big factor. Remember that when we when we speak, sometimes we, we short words. Hacemos las palabras más cortas cuando estamos hablando. Y ese es el problema, porque algunas personas dicen, no, pero es que no me lo enseñaron así, ¿verdad? No me lo enseñaron, me enseñaron a que diga, I do not, en instero say, I don't. Y así sucesivamente. Entonces, we need to be careful about this, please. Okay, what else do we have? Somebody wants to read it? There is a condition. If you want to short or abbreviate this in red, how can I say it? Si quiero abreviar eso, ¿cómo lo puedo decir? There is AC. AC, yeah, I like that. There is AC. There is AC. There's AC. AC. There's AC. Okay, next. Use there are if the noun is plural. Vamos a usar there are si el nombre o los nombres son plurales. Somebody want to read it, please? There are good schools nearby. There are good schools nearby. Nearby. Okay, nearby. You can see the school there, okay? What else do we have here? Okay. Somebody else want to read it, please? There are a lot of windows. There are, or oh, there's, listen, we can short this also. There's a lot of windows. También puede decir así. There's, there's a lot of windows. Yeah, we, we are going to drop the, the letter A, drop out the letter A. There, a lot of windows. La forma corta, sí. Okay, what about this? A lady want to read it and then a man. Que nos ayude una lady y después un man. Is there a swimming pool? Is there a swimming pool? It's a question. Read it, read it, read it, please. There is not a swim, swimming pool. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Todas las que sean las que aparezcan de la lady, la va a leer una lady. Y todas las que aparezcan del man, is going to be read by a man. Okay? Again. Gentlemen, please, where are you? There isn't a swimming pool. 
Ah, ok, ok, here we go, here we go. Continue. Continue. El mismo puede ser. But there is a basketball court. But there is a basketball court. Lady. The lady, please. Are there trees in the yard? Are there trees in the yard? Are there trees in the yard? Okay. There aren't any trees, but there is a big driveway for my car. There aren't any trees, but there is a big driveway for my car. Lady, lady, ladies, se me duele. Is there a fire place? Is there a fire play? Repeat it. Is there a fire place? Is there a fire place? Okay. Do you know what is a fire play? Man. There you say a fire place, but there's a big space for me flat screen TV. For my flat screen TV to watch the soccer match of the selector. Okay. So we're andamos pensando. Okay, continue, please. There is even an extra bedroom for my mother. There's even an extra bedroom for my mother, okay? Mm. Continue, continue, ladies. Mm, great. What is the meaning of this word? Mm. What the lady imply? ¿Qué querrá decir la señora cuando dice? Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> huh? What do you think about that? ¿Qué quiso decir la señora? Okay, to say a negative fact, you can use there isn't. There isn't a or an or there aren't any. For example, there isn't a garage. There isn't a garage. Present singular. There isn't a garage. Okay, there aren't any trees in the chair. There aren't any trees in the chair. ¿Qué es lo que me está diciendo esta oración? Tell me. No hay ningún árbol en, no hay en el muchos árboles en la yarda. No hay ningún árbol, ningún árbol. Sí, okay. En el patio. This present plural, okay. There is an offense. ¿Qué es lo que no hay? There is an offense. Okay. Do you know what is a fence? Not. Fence not. is this. Fence no is this. Cerca. Yes. There is an offense. Mm, okay. It's present singular. Okay. There aren't a lot of neighbors. There aren't a lot of neighbor. What is the meaning in Spanish? No hay muchos vecinos. No mucho vecino. Ah, okay. What about in the place where you are living now? Do you have a lot of neighbor or not? Yeah. A lot of neighbor. 
Okay, and suddenly they are watching the soccer match and they yell. Están viendo el partido y toda la familia grita y nosotros en clase. <laughs> okay. Okay, use their, theirs in speaking in informal writing. Okay, pay attention for this because it is really important. There is a basketball curve. When we, when we talk, we tend to use theirs instead of say there is. There's a basketball curve. Or we can say, there's even an extra bathroom for my mother. There's even an extra bathroom for my mother. Okay, read it, please. Read it for me. Read it, please. Who wants to read it? Yeah, but even an extra bathroom for my mother. Okay, okay. And when we talk, we are talking about informal speaking also, we can say there's even an extra bathroom for my mom. Yeah, for my mommy, different way how to say mother, right? Okay. Okay, what else? Uh -huh. Now, we have a practice here. It is the number one. So look at the information of uh, Mrs. Shan class. Many sentences using there is, there are, and information about his class. Okay, what can you tell me about this? This week, quiz, zero student. How many students do we have? 18. 18. 18. 18. Don't forget teen. 18. Homework. Get oh. it. Okay, 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 but remember, but we need to do uh, following the instruction is that you need to use there is or there are according to this information. Who wants to give me an example about it? For example, if we don't have any quiz, how we are going to say it? Si no existe algo, ¿cómo vamos a decirlo? There isn't any quiz. There is any quiz. Excellent. Okay. Somebody else, please. What about student, homework, reading? Tell me. There are 18 students. There are. This 18. week, there are 18 students. Okay. Somebody else, please. There is very little. There? There's very little. Ah, okay. Later on, we are going to check out what you are saying. Okay. Somebody else, please. Somebody else. There are nine girls. There are nine girls. Hmm. Where, where, where did you get the number nine? <laughs> there are many. Yeah, uh, yeah, but, but it's right. But it's right. It, it is. It is good. The example that you are giving is according to use the reason there are. Okay, let us check out what you said, okay? We have an example this week, there isn't, there isn't a quiz, but in this case, there isn't any quiz, okay? This week, there are 18 students. This week, there is a very little homework. Okay, this week there are many reading. Okay, 
right here we have some question. Put is or are before there to make a question. That means that what we are going to do is that we are going to switch the position. When I say switch the position is cambiar la posición. Is there? Oh, yeah. Continue, continue. <laughs> yes, is there a swimming pool yes. in your is there, house? Is there a swimming pool in the house? Okay, try to keep in mind, try to keep in mind. Ya vimos positive, negative, and question, okay. Okay, what else? Are there mice in the house? Yeah? Yeah. No. A lot. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But, but, but give me a complete answer. Deme una respuesta completa. ¿Cómo sería? Are there mice in the house? <laughs> no, they. <laughs> there aren't. <laughs> what about positive? Yes. Si fuese positiva, sería. Yes, there. Yes, there are. There is. No, oh, there is. Car. Yes, <laughs> there are. Ah, uh -huh. we are talking about plural. <laughs> ah, porque, uh, estamos, estamos hablando de plurales. Okay, use there in question and your answer. Okay, let us see. Is there a porch? Yes, there is. Are there any problem in the basement? No, and remember, they are in. And remember that we need to pronounce in the right way because we are asking a question. Are there any problem in the basement? No, they aren't. Pero no me puedes hacer una pregunta. Are there any problem in the basement? Aún siempre le... le, le Le ponemos eso porque the question have fallen and in right intonation, right? And you need to be careful about this. Okay, let me read this in order to start doing something else. Uh, ask a party questions about she's or her neighborhood. Use is there or are there in short answer, okay? This is kind of exercise that we need to do. Example, lot of houses. How we can ask this question? Are there lot of houses in your neighborhood? What is the answer for this question? Hello? What is the answer? Are there lots of houses in your neighborhood? Yes. No, there aren't. No, there aren't. Si fuese negative, but what about positive? Yes. Yes, there, there are. Yes, there are. Porque si va a ser positivo, ya no va a llevar apostrofe en the letter T, okay? Okay, okay, I need, uh, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Necesito que participen nueve in this activity. Asking question. Veamos. The following, please. ¿Quién se atreve? A hacer la primera pregunta que tenga que ver con el good school. How can I ask this question? Is there a good school in your... There is, there is, there is. Place? In your... <laughs> your... Neighborhood. Neighborhood. Oh, neighborhood. 
Y fíjense que si aquí nos ponemos las pilas todos, pueden participar 18 personas. Porque eh, nueve hacen las preguntas y nueve responden. Uh, it's up to you. If somebody uh, asks the question, is there a good school in your neighborhood? And somebody say, yes, there is. Oh, no, there isn't. Okay, next one, please. Are there many children in your house? Could be in your house, but we are talking about neighborhood, but no matter, okay? Okay, I need that somebody else answer this question, please. No, they aren't. No, they aren't, okay. Next, next question, please. Traten de participar nueve y nueve, por favor. Come on, you can do it now, please. Show me that you can do it. Okay. Hello. Sorry. Come on. No, I need that you practice. There is a highway five years ago. Repeat again. There is. Ah, no, no, the highway is on. There are. Hmm. Ok, ok, ok. Le damos tiempo que corrija. Right there, there, there is, there is there a is, word that is giving you a is, clue. There is a, there is a, a highway five years ago. Mm. Ok. Be careful with the question. Ojo con esa pregunta, porque claro, yo sé que no la vimos. Pero vea lo que le dice, five years ago, hace cinco años. Uh, Entonces, oh, ahí, ahí. Excuse me. There was, there was. Switch the position. Fue en el pasado. Yeah, there switch, was, switch the position. Was, there was. Tendría que cambiar para hacer la pregunta. Was there a highway five years ago? Wow. De acuerdo. Was, was there? Was yes. there a highway five years ago? Oh. Sí, había ahí un highway hace cinco años. Una carretera, una calle. Ok, pero como no habíamos hablado de pasado, ok. Ok, next one, please. Sí. Talking about... Talking about Richard, okay. Are there restaurants near the house? Repeat again, please. Are there restaurants near the house? Or in your neighborhood? Okay. Somebody wants to answer this question, please. Okay, me. Are there problems in your work? In your work. Ah, in your work. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Vayan, respondan, por favor. Anyone wants to answer this question? Okay, somebody else, please. No, there aren't. Ah, no, there, there aren't. Okay, there are. Everything is in peace and low. Okay, next one, please. Siguiente, por favor. Hello. Was there office five years ago? Hmm. Be careful. Are you talking about singular or plural? I swear. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. And the last two. 
are their parts? Were cut five years eight. Yes. Okay, the next one. Is or are? Are. And the last one? Where are often five years eight? Talking about the last one. Is there a noise in your neighborhood? Could be in that way because I'm using a, an article. Okay, this end. We already talked about this topic, and I consider that all of you got a lot of idea how to use uh, there is and there are. But if you have uh, some question, just let me know to clarify it, please. Si todavía existen eh, algunas dudas, por favor, háganmelo saber para que tengamos espacio para poder uh, clarificar esas dudas. Fischer, eh, la consulta. Eh, ¿Por qué con any se usa there are y si es zero se usa there is? Ah, ok, es una buena pregunta. It's a good question, sir. Remember that uh, when, when we uh, use any, in this case, uh, how can I explain this? Any could be alguno, algunos, no? All depend. Okay, hold on, let me show you something here. Déjeme mostrarle algo aquí, por favor. Para clarificar su, su, su duda. Déjeme ver si le encuentro. I used to have a, a slide in order to explain you this. Tenía por aquí una diapositiva pensando en eso. Generalmente a uh, any lo vamos a usar con eh, nombres que sean contables y que sean plurales antes de que, que, que me quede buscando la diapositiva. Ok, eh, es, es importante que nos, que nos quedemos con esa eh, idea en la cabecita. Que any lo vamos a usar para nombres que sean contables, pero que sean plurales. Entonces significa que el any solamente lo podemos usar en este caso con... Deme la respuesta. Ok. Okay. Ahí está. ¿Satisfecho con la respuesta? Okay, pero si dice no, no puede traducirse algún en singular, no. Samuel. Por ejemplo, no hay algún árbol, no. no ahí, so, ahí de una vez está diciendo usted, there isn't, there isn't, ah, but, but, but if you are talking about plural, any trees. Ahí está diciendo de, 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 ok. Ok, le, le voy a conseguir la, la diapositiva luego, luego para que explicarle, okay. pero, pero por el momento necesito que se me quede con la idea de que vamos a usar any con nombres contables, eh, generalmente los contables eh, plurales, ¿no? Ok, ok. Ok, excellent. Let me see where we are. Ok, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Ok, let us do this exercise. Read the sentences, find the mistake and correct it. 
Okay, you are going to read the sentences and you are going to identify the mistakes and you are and you are going to correct it. Do you know what is a mistake? Yes, the number one is there are the various error in the number one. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Don't don't tell me now. I'm going to give you at least three minutes in order that all of you can do it. Te voy a dar tres minutos para que todos lo puedan hacer. Porque cuando me dan las respuestas así rápido, los demás no piensan. Ah, dice, ah, pues sí, aquí está. Okay, okay, okay. And what I want is that all of you try to do it, okay? Two minutes, it is enough. Será suficiente dos minutos. There. O es muy mucho. O muy poquito. Do you need more time to do that? Just let me know, please. Hey. We missed it, Yes. Do you want me to show it again? Hold on, hold on a second, please. Okay. Did you finish? Yes? Yes, yes teacher. Okay, who wants to read the number one? In the right way, just read it. Me la van a leer ya corregida, por favor. 
Tell me. There are these two branches in El Salvador. Repeat again. There are these two branches in El Salvador. There are, there are, there are, there are, there are, there are two branches. Okay, 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 there okay. are two branches. There are two branches in the top. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Remember, let me tell you this. Vamos a decirle esto. Uh, a la hora de hacer la modificación, we are going to drop this one. Vamos a quitar este. Y ya no lo vamos a usar. Solo vamos a usar. R. R, ok. Only R. Let me move a little bit. Oops. Ok, but you understand what I'm trying to say, ok? What about the second one? Porque no podemos, no podemos tener eh, R and is, solo podemos tener o is o R. Okay, the second one, please. La segunda, por favor. There is one facilities available. There is one facility available. Mm. We need to drop a word there. Read it again, please. Léalo de nuevo, por favor. There is one facility is available. Okay, what about the rest? What do you think it is right? ¿Qué dicen los demás? ¿Está bien así? What does it mean Spanish facilities? Facilidades disponibles. Is, is okay. there are. Read the whole sentence, please. Lea la oración completa. There is one facility av available. Mm. But, but the word facilities is in plural. Maybe it could be there are two facilities available. Okay. B. But what about if you read it in this way? Let me see. What about if you read it in this way? Read it now. Lea la hora, por favor. There are facilities available. Ah, okay, okay, sounds better, okay. Number three, please. There is a new office. Is that right? A little is. What is the mistake there? Uh, the letter is. Is, is in singular. Ah, okay, okay. There is a new office. That means that we need to drop the letter S. What about number four? There are not materials to work. There not are not material to work. Okay. It is just the order, okay? So look, hacemos el switch del orden. Luego esto lo vamos a pasar para esta parte de aquí. Number five. There is not three boxes in the lobby. There are not three boxes. How is it? 
There are not. There, uh, there, there are not three boxes in the lobby. Okay. There are not three boxes in the lobby. Okay, excellent. Okay, before to pass to the next uh, activity that we are going to do, uh, let me give you more uh, details about the question. Maybe the question that he asked, es posible que quizás la pregunta que hizo el caballero tiene que ver con eh, que la palabra any en cierto momento él la vio como un determinante. ¿Cómo así? Un determinante eh, podría ser una palabra que podemos usar antes de un nombre para referirse a cosas indefinidas, cantidades. Eh, por ejemplo, le dice, do you bring any bread? Could be. Uh, por ejemplo, digo que Rafael refused to answer any question. Se rehusó a responder ninguna pregunta. Y al mismo tiempo, esa palabra any eh, la puede usar como cuantificador en una pregunta. Y en oraciones negativas, por ejemplo, puedo decir a... Uh, Have you got any eggs? Has tomado algunos huevos? Uh, in that way. Uh, and also, hay un dato muy importante y es lo que él preguntaba. Nosotros eh, no podemos usar any con eh, cuestiones singulares que sean contables. ¿Sí? Entonces, ahí, ahí es donde tenemos que tener un poco más de, de, de cuidado en eso. Luego les voy a compartir en el grupo eh, una, una, una diapositiva nada más pequeñita para que podamos tener más ideas de lo que estamos hablando. ¿Ok? Okay, let us do it now. Let us practice. Okay, what you are going to do, let me erase this because I got it here. Let me borrar este poll. Que si no, no se va a ver. Okay, time, time fly. It's flying now. El tiempo ha estado volando hoy. Okay, let me see. Uh, we got no más por aquí. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay, okay. This, this activity, you are going to create it with somebody else. You are going to create a two minutes conversation where you describe the company where you work by using there is and there are. It is like the example that we have in exercise two, page number 19. In another word, in Spanish, lo que van a hacer es crear una conversación de dos minutos. Donde describan su compañía que usted trabaja usando there is and there are. Y puede usar como base eh, la conversación de la página. Que hicimos. Okay, let me see. We have 15 minutes. Let us start with the first uh, three minutes in order that you can start working on it. It's going to be easy. For example, somebody start talking, hey, hello, Maria. How are you? I'm fine, and you, okay. Where do you work? I work in uh, Coca-Cola, for example. Ah, okay. How many branches? Uh, does your company have? And you start using, okay, there are uh, 25 uh, branches, and there is one in the town in San Salvador. We have another, so on. you start talking about that, okay? 
Pero antes de irnos a el ejercicio, quiero que Linda y Beth me diga con sus palabras qué es la actividad que vamos a hacer. Linda, en español. Vamos a hacer en pares una conversación y vamos a utilizar de base el diálogo que hicimos, más o menos, para tener una referencia. Y vamos a utilizar el there is y el there are acerca de nuestros lugares de trabajo, las ubicaciones o, o qué es lo que hay dentro de nuestros lugares de trabajo, podría ser. Ok, excelente. Let's go, let's go. I'm going to switch. Hoy lo voy a cambiar para que no quede con persona. Ok, here we go. Try to do it. Okay. I don't know if the time is enough to create a conversation. No, teacher. No, no, la mitad, teacher. Okay, 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 okay. But try to keep in mind. Okay. All, all the places and items that you have in your company. 
ahorita trate de recordar todo lo que tiene en su empresa, que sea singular y que sea plural, ¿ok? And then uh, you are going to complete the conversation, ¿ok? Let us do it now again. Pero traten de terminarlo, por favor. No me vayan a decir terminando los tres minutos. No, pero es que fíjense que... Típico de Ken. Okay, time is over, time is over. Okay, now you are going to show me. Tell me, tell me, tell me.
Okay, let us start talking about uh, your conversation, please. Who wants to start? Who wants to start with his conversation? Tony? JC, JC, improve. Okay. Hello, Rafael. Hello, JC. Uh, are, are there banks near your goals? Yes, there are. Uh, hey, how many offices are there in your company, Jason? Uh, in my company, there are 24 offices. That's great. Uh, is there a restaurant nearly? Yes, there is. Uh, very, very nice. Uh, thank you. Okay, have a nice day, JC. Only that, teacher. Okay, uh, we need to be careful about the question because if the question is in plural, the answer is going to be in plural. Are there any restaurant near your house? No, there aren't. Okay, somebody else, please. Me, teacher. Okay, do it, do it, do it. Okay, Anna. Hello. Hello. Hi, Valerie. How are you? Hello, Anna, I'm fine, and you? Actually, where do you work? BLP. Uh, how many branches do you have? The, uh, there are three branches in San Salvador. I need lunch, bam. Uh, that's great. And how many do you have? In my company, there are two branches in the country. Finish. Okay, thank you. Somebody else, please. Norma. Hola, Cristina. Hola. Hola. Hello, Cristina. How are you? Hello, Norma. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Cristina, where are you work? I work in Lido, S.A. S.A. D.C.B. Okay. Cristina. Where is the company located? The location is Soyapango, El Salvador. Are there more branches in El Salvador? Yes, there are seven branches. Um, Cristina, come in Miguel. Um, Cristina and Miguel work in one of their branches? Yes, the work is there is one one the branch the branch in Metro Centro. Ah, okay. Uh, Cristina, uh, I'm going my work. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to see you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Okay, excellent, excellent. I like that. Eso, así me gusta, mira. Que le vayan poniendo un poco de sabor. Okay, because of the time, yo sé que hay muchos que tienen el deseo de poder hacerlo. Se lo guardan para mañana, at the beginning of the class. Let me check out the attendance now, please. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Ok, I got it here. Ya lo tenemos. I got it. Ok. Ana del Carmen. Present teacher. Ángel. Present teacher. Cristina. Present. Eh, Giovanni. Present teacher. Eh, Gerson. Present. José Miguel. Present teacher. Ah, ok, ok, ok. José Miguel, you are the one. Today you are going yes. to have 10 minutes to talk with me, ok? Miguel? Yes, teacher. Ok, at, 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 at the end of the class, please don't go. Por favor, no se me vaya a ir. Ok. Uh, Juan Carlos? Present, teacher. Ok, Karina? Present. Eh, Linda Ivette? Present, teacher. María? Del... María Dalia, Present, perdón. teacher. María Julia? Present. Uh, Marlene? Present. Uh, Marvin? Nancy? Present teacher. Norma? Present teacher. Uh, Rafael? I'm here, teacher. Raquel Judith? No se presentó. Reinaldo Castro? Suleima. Ok, más creo que ellos son los que tuvieron problemas para conexión. Xiomara del Carmen. Xiomara. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Ok. Okie dokie. Ok, before we leave, antes de que nos vayamos, al caballero que hizo la pregunta en el grupo de WhatsApp le voy a dejar la diapositiva, donde espero que con eso quedemos claros con, con, la, con la pregunta de Eni, ok? Generalmente okay, solo va a funcionar eh, en negativos y preguntas, ¿ya? Bueno, ahí está explicadito en la, en la figura que le voy a dejar. Teacher. Ok, tell me. En cuanto a la, a la pregunta de la plataforma, ¿cómo sería? ¿O todavía no la ha revisado? Mm, bueno, ahí depende de ustedes. Si, si ya estamos sobre el tiempo, pero si ustedes tienen un segundo, le doy la respuesta ahorita. Pero si, si ya se quieren, yo sé que ya es tiempo. Ustedes okay. deciden. ¿Cómo deciden? ¿Se las reviso ahorita? ¿O...? Se las explico sí, mañana. O se las explico mañana. It's up to you. Tomorrow. 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 Ok, ok, ok. Ok. I respect you. Ok, uh, tomorrow I'm going to tell you what, what is happening there. Ok. Let me show you this. That is the last. Don't hold. What's going on here? ¿Qué está pasando aquí? Something is happening here. Jesus. What's going on here? I, I have something to show you today, but my computer is not working the right way. I don't know what is happening. Se me puso en huelga. Well, okay, it's going to be the next class, I guess. No, mañana, Yeah, no problem. No problem. No problem. Okay. Yo sé que ya es tarde y que quieren ir a ver el resultado del partido. Bueno, no, 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 no he oído al menos a mi vecino gritar. 
Si hay, si hay. Si hay, si hay. Si hay, si hay. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. And good night. Bye bye. See you. Ganamos. <laughs> yes, good night, teacher. We are the winner. Good night, okay? Have a nice, nice oh. everyone. Bye. Okay, bye. bye, bye, bye. See you, see you. Okay, Jose Miguel. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? Uh, I'm fine. Okay, okay. Uh, I don't know if you have any questions about the different topics that we have studied during the past quiz or maybe today. No, no. sé si tiene alguna consulta referente a algún tema que vimos la semana que ya cerramos o, o hoy. Eh, más que todo esto del de Liz y el de Rando, no, ahorita ya está viviendo bien fuerte, entonces no podía venir, no podía venir conectado y, y ah, okay, bien. ok, ok, Bueno, hagamos algo así rápido. Ambas expresiones se usan para decir hay, de existencia. Ah, ok. Ok, por ejemplo, usted dice, in my company there is a TV. En mi empresa hay un televisor. Usamos oh. is porque es singular. There is a TV. And then you say, okay, in my company there are five cars. En mi compañía hay cinco carros. carros. Entonces ese es el uso de there is y there are. Que uno oh. es para singular y el otro es para plural. Eso, okay. es, eso es cuando uh, se usa en forma positiva, ¿sí? Si vamos a hacer preguntas, solo vamos a hacer el cambio. La forma del be, en este caso es is o are, va a pasar al inicio y luego va a seguir el there. Is there, ¿sí? O are there, ¿ok? Ok. Así funciona. Ok. No sé si se está claro. Sí, sí. Yes, yes. Okay. Can you give me an example? Um, one of for is and one for are. And in my house, there is uh, one kitchen. Okay, okay. And in my house, there are three bed, bed, bedrooms. Okay. In my house, there is a kitchen. Okay. Sounds better. Excellent. Okay. No sé si tiene algo otra pregunta. No, referente solo, a algo, algo otro tema. Solamente ahorita. Solo ah. que a, me, me cuesta un poquito, eh, más que todo lo que más me cuesta a mí es entender. Y el vocabulario, sí siento que lo tengo bien corto. Ok. Ok. Y, eh, sí. Y, o sea, a veces al principio de la clase eh, ya le he escrito de que no puedo tener encendida la cámara porque a veces cuando vengo o, o solo vengo y ya está la clase, entonces me toca cocinar y, y, y cenar, ¿verdad? Sí, no, comprendo eso. Pero lo importante es que esté conectado. Eso, eso, eso es muy importante porque los minutos cuentan. Y cuando tenga alguna pregunta que no logra clarificar en la clase, eh, me puede escribir y con gusto le ayudo. Ok. ¿Verdad? Lo, el objetivo oh. es de que, de que al final se entienda y se, y se comprenda y, y, y se asimile algo de lo que se está mirando. ¿sí? ¿Verdad? Sabemos el esfuerzo que ustedes hacen. No es fácil estar todo el día trabajando y luego sentarse dos horas. Eh, es muy duro, ¿no? Pero todo sacrificio, pues al final tiene su recompensa, ¿verdad? Entonces, hay que seguir adelante y estamos para ayudarle. Ok, teacher. Ok. Ok, you're welcome. I hope to see you tomorrow, ok? Ok, bye, teacher. See ok, you. bye, bye, see you.